So let's talk multiple parameters. Let's make a function and let's call it um, uh, multiply by, or let's call it multiply all values. And let's just have x, y, z, and uh, n. And, um, you know, this is simple enough to understand. We can just return x times y times z times n. And if I call this, uh, let's print, multiply all values, and let's do 3, 5, 6, 8, and run it. 720. Easy enough. Um, so this is just uh, the simple format of, of multiple, multiple parameters. Uh, we've seen this already. Um, let's take this into the idea of default arguments, though. And I'm going to sort of set n to 8 uh, by default. And then I'm going to, instead of explicitly uh, having 8 in the function call passed in as an argument on line 4, um, you know, it's just going to be its default value up here. Still 720, no mystery there. Um, I could set it to something else, though. I could set it to 5, n gets 5, and of course we're going to get a different value. We're getting 450 now. Um, so, you know, I, I set the default value for n, uh, but let's, let's try this. Uh, why don't I also set, on the function call, say, well, I'm going to have y equal 5, or y get 5 uh, when I pass it in. So, uh, this is the value that we were already passing in, and I'm just being explicit about what variable should hold it. But look at this error. A positional argument follows a keyword argument. This is a keyword argument because we have this name, y, right? This is our parameter, um, and we're passing 5 in to y as an argument. But then after that, we have this 6, and it's sort of orphaned. And we can't do that. Um, that's something that Python won't let us do. Similarly, uh, we can't do this, where in the function definition, I set the default parameter. You can see we're already getting um, an error through VS Code. Non-default argument follows default argument. And uh, I would use the word parameter there, but, you know, VS Code. So, um, this is the same thing. Non-default argument follows default argument. Actually, that's a Python error, not a VS Code uh, statement. So what we could do is uh, something a little bit... Okay, so why don't we do this? Why don't we just rearrange all these? We can do n gets 5, and then let's do y gets 5. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's do 3. Let's do x gets 2, and z gets uh, 8. Okay, so I've explicitly uh, passed arguments in for each of these, but I've, I'm keeping them in a different order now. Let's see what happens. It works. That works. We can't rearrange... Uh, so it, here, here's the rule of thumb. If you set a default argument, it can't. it has to be at the end of your uh, list of parameters, right? Um, you know, you can't do it up here. You can't say x gets 7 or something like that and then not have default parameters, default arguments set for these others. Um, and then down here, it's the same thing. You, you can't have a... Uh, a named variable, um, collect, you know, uh, being set explicitly before not doing that here. And you can also rearrange everything if you name everything. Now, why would you want to do this? I'm not sure. Um, you know, it gets into that thing of uh, your code suddenly becomes really hard to read 
if you take these out of order, <laughs> right? Why would you do this? There's no no good reason unless you're just trying to mess with somebody. Um, you know, hey, future reader, look at this thing that's impossible to decipher. Um, don't don't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, just a little bit about uh, you know having multiple parameters, but then also having default arguments with those parameters and the order that Python will accept those.